terrifying moments in Baltimore caught on camera. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing into the bay early this morning after a massive cargo ship lost power and crashed right into it. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start, whoever, everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. It is a remarkable scene. Six people are still missing, and the search for survivors is growing more desperate by the hour. Authorities now are using sonar and infrared technologies, as well as drones, hoping to find those missing people. But weather conditions could complicate things. Now, two others have already been rescued, pulled from the freezing waters of the Patapsco River. Both are now out of the hospital. Investigators are also on the scene, but Maryland's governor says it appears that this was just a horrific accident. There is no credible evidence that this was any type of terror attack. Meanwhile, the bridge serves as the outermost crossing of the Baltimore Harbor. It is an essential link along the Beltway, carrying more than 30,000 vehicles a day. And that's where ABC News reporter Christian Cordero is live right now following all the latest developments. Christian. David, Liz, authorities say eight people fell into the water. Of those, as you mentioned, two have been rescued, which means there is that desperate search for the remaining six who have not been accounted for. The NTSB is here on scene searching for answers. Crews in Baltimore are working against the clock to find survivors of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. We're going to send all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency. It was around 1.30 this morning that Maryland officials say a container ship lost propulsion as it was leaving Baltimore and crashed into the bridge. Video shows the ship hitting a support column. The lights go out as the entire span collapses. Seconds before impact, that same footage appears to show vehicles crossing. The vessel is uh, 985 feet long. It's a 95,000 gross ton container ship. The pilots reportedly warned the Maryland Department of Transportation that vessel could crash before it made impact. Maryland officials say the pilots made a call prompted the bridge to shut down to traffic, potentially saving lives. No drivers were traveling on the span at the time, but there were construction vehicles and workers on it. The crew that was out there working was basically repairing potholes. Just so you understand that had nothing to do with a structural issue. The I-695 span is a heavily traveled corridor with an estimated 30,000 vehicles crossing it each day. About 30 million tons of cargo passed through the bridge last year. It's the entryway to the largest port in the U.S. for cars and light trucks and one of America's largest hubs for coal shipments. It's one of the most important elements for the economy in the Northeast. I've directed my team to move heaven and earth to reopen the port and rebuild the bridge as soon as humanly possible. Authorities say there is no credible evidence the incident was an act of terror. We're live in Baltimore. I'm Christiane Cordero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Christiane, thank you. Meanwhile, Mayor Adams tweeted this morning that New York City is standing by to help in any way possible, and Governor Hochul echoed that statement. She acknowledged this could have happened anywhere, even in our area. The New York Harbor stands ready to assist any way we can continue the flow of commerce so it's not disrupted. We have over 66 bridges in our harbor area, so we know the vulnerability of what can happen when one is down. As we mentioned, this collapse brought an important trade hub to a halt, likely impacting businesses and supply chains across Maryland area and beyond. The Port of Baltimore is the 17th biggest port in the country, and it handled a record-breaking amount of cargo last year. Transportation officials now say other ports along the East Coast, including the port of New York and New Jersey, are on standby in case traffic needs to be diverted. 